ways to care for ourselves so we can better care for each other. So let's celebrate it together. Fridays at 10 a.m. Pacific Time on CRN Digital Talk Radio. Club Delisa, 55th Street. Hello, here he comes with the $50 bill. Uh-huh. Welcome back, everybody. It's the PM hey, Show. You know last time I heard this? When was the last time you heard this one, Bob? Last night at 10 o'clock at my house when Gigi, Uh-oh. my Chinese honey bunny, <laughs> was giving me one of those touch and feel massages. Uh-oh. Deep, deep tissue, right? And this is what I... We don't play that other goofy stuff, you know. I said, play it, baby, and she said... I'm your little China doll, and here we do. <laughs> All right, hey Fred, it's about you now. Listen, before uh, we, we let you go, here's what I want you to do: uh, anything you want to talk about, any email, anything at all that we should watch, anything at all we want to talk about, Fred, and and what he wants to talk about. You're on, Fred. Uh, let's see. Uh, first thing I want to remind you: the first time we met was on a show called Fernwood Tonight. You came on. Remember, my friend Martin Mo and I had that show, oh, and yeah. uh, you were a guest on it, and. Uh, I got. I don't know what. That was that. good stuff, Fred. I mean, you, I mean, the, your list of work, man. It is um, absolutely amazing, and the work you've done with uh, Christopher Guest, of course. Now, uh, kind of cult classic, legendary films. I know I'm a big fan. What happened? Yeah. Oh, come yeah, on. Are you gonna let him talk? Okay. Well, sorry. I was just uh, looking some uh, uh, over some of those old Fernwood and American Tonight shows because I ran into Corey Feldman at an event in New York, and he wanted to know if I. He appeared on it when he was just a little kid. Yeah, no kid. And uh, so I started looking at a few of the old episodes, and they were really funny, very, very cutting-edge stuff. That nothing had ever been done like that. As for now, I think the only thing I have to promote right now is uh, this new series, Franklin and Bash, which just premiered, um, I think, last night. And I'm on the second episode, which is next Wednesday night. Perfect. I almost forget what I did on the show because we did it late last year. And I forgot all about it, and I think they're very smart to bring it on at the beginning of June because it's getting a lot of publicity. That's cool. But it's perfect timing for us because we, we, we've got 5,600,000 listeners, and we're going to plug you uh, on your show. And this, uh, on Thursday, is perfect for Wednesday. Great. Great. Hey, now, Fred, uh, is it possible to get the, the old Fur Winter Tonight stuff? Did they, did they reissue that on DVDs? They, they have not. Uh, we, I got them off of, bought them from some guy who had them off of... Uh, TV, oh, and uh, we talked to, Mark and I did a couple of uh, uh, reunion shows and got great response, and we went into Norman Lear and said, Norman, you got to put these uh, uh, DVDs out. Uh, Absolutely. I mean, uh, Bob was on the show, uh, Gary Coleman, uh, Roseanne Arquette, Robin Williams, and Norman said, I love the idea, and uh, we haven't heard from him yet. So I'll tell you. Either Working very hard getting it done, or has forgotten about it. No, please do. I remember waking up late at night uh, with with my dad, and he'd be watching Fernwood tonight, and I was just a, a little guy, and I'd watch the show, and I thought it was the craziest. Mo- I, I I thought it was like a serious, you know, like late night talk show, and as you guys were just so tongue in cheek and had so much fun on the show. That's what we tried to do is keep it as uh, a lot of people thought uh, it was real. In fact, they told me that they, someone asked Ringo Starr if he wanted to go on the show, and he said that he liked the show, but he didn't want to go up to Cleveland uh, or some little town in Ohio to do it. So that, to me, was a great compliment if he thought it was a real show. <laughs> hey, listen, you accomplished that, and you've gotten this uh, this uh, image now, and that uh, it's like you, you are the archive. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> it, huh? It, it happens, Fred. It happened, it's happening to me, and it's, it's happened to you, if you want the truth. Great. All right, so we, before we let you go, anything at all you want to talk about or say, and if you think of it, uh, at a later time, cost, we'll put you back on the air. What can I say? For the people who live here in L.A., we're doing a show at a little place called Bang Theater. I still, my favorite form of entertainment is comedy sketches. Oh, yeah. Okay. And uh, I'm in a workshop of comedy sketch stuff. We have a lot of fun. But once every two months, we put on the show at a little place on Fairfax called Bang Theater. And uh, in and out in an hour. No notes, no uh, rehearsals. Oh, that's uh, great. Now, Fred, is there a website we could check it out if we want to go check go check out Bang Theater? Gee, I don't know. It's bang, I don't know. They, I'm sure they have a Bang site. I'm I mean, sure. We'll, we'll look it up. B-A-N-G, Bang Theater. It's on Fairfax on the same block as uh, the old Cantor's Deli. Oh, yeah. Okay. We know oh, where sure, you're yeah, yeah, Absolutely, that man. Is. Yeah. yeah. We go on about 8 o'clock on a Thursday night. and uh, That's great, man. Do about an hour and uh, 
place fills up, it's great. That sounds okay. like a lot of fun. What about Second City? You want to give me a brief? Uh, there you go. It's too late. We're going into oh, commercial. Man. Hey, Fred, appreciate the time. And, of course, for our listeners out there, be sure to check it out. Spinal Tap, Waiting for Guff- Guffman, Best in Show, A Mighty Wind. For your consideration, this is all stuff. If you want to get the uh, definitive Fred Willard, but you got to get Fernwood tonight. That is absolutely him and Martin Mall really nailed it, and it's, uh, it's, it's quite a work of comedy. Fred, thank you so much for joining us on Thanks the show today. Thanks for thinking of me. Thank you for calling. Hey, Fred, if there's anything you want down the line, down the road, we're going to be on the air for quite a while, thank God. Call us and we'll do it for you. Yeah, we like to talk about this uh, Bang Theater again, my man. Thank you. Thank you, guys. And thank you, Bob. Nice talking to you again. Thanks, man. It's a pleasure. All right. Bye-bye. All right. Bye-bye. The legend himself, Fred Willard. All right, man. Sweetheart. Good huh? stuff. Yeah. yeah. Good guy. Now we're going to uh, do a couple emails uh, and then great uh, summer greetings, Uncle Bob. I had to text you this, uh, watch the DVD of Black Sheep last evening, and I'll tell about this after the commercial.